Hello all. In this video, we will see how to use CNG shield to drive stepper motors. Here we have a version 3 CNG shield that can be plugged on to Arduino Uno or Mega. And we have NEMA, NEMA 17 stepper motor. We will be using A4988 driver to drive these uh, steppers. A4988 has uh, capacity of uh, 2 amps output drive capacity and it is provided with a heat sink it is uh, recommended to paste the heat sink onto a4988 and then plug it onto the cng shield another uh, counterpart is drv8825 it has got slightly higher ampere capacity so any one you can use the cng shield has got four positions for uh, drives x y z axis and another a axis which is clone of one of the axis y or z uh, useful for uh, machines with the dual y axis motors. the bipolar stepper motor can be directly plugged on to the 1a 1b 2a 2b pins to the side of the axis and there is a jumper uh, seen at the bottom if no jumper is used then it will run in the full step three micro strip selection pins are uh, pulled low by internal pull down resistor so if you leave them unconnected the motor will operate in full step if you use a jumper then it will run in micro stepping and there is a decoupling capacitor for the motor supply it is around 47 to 100 microfarad if you check out the a4988 there are two power supply pins one is for uh, motor and another one is for ic the enable pin uh, the enable pin should match the EN pin of the CNG shield you should not uh, plug it re reverse for power source external po power supply is used for the motor supply we are using 12 volt 5 amps here that depends on the stepper motor you are using whether it is 12 or 24 volt you have to use accordingly here we are using 12 volt 5 ampere uh, metal SMPS like this it can drive up to uh, three NEMA 17 steppers X, Y and Z axis. The CNC shield can be easily plugged onto Arduino Uno. So no pins are left out. It should be plugged in properly. As it is a shield, it will sit properly on the Arduino Uno. And the A4988, look out for the enable pin and you have to match match it with the en pin that is printed on the cnc shield you can see on the top left en pin the enable pin should match the en pin if you place it reverse the driver will fail immediately it will heat up and fail immediately and the nima 17 stepper comes with a wire one side four wire and uh, another side uh, six wire so socket really made socket the six wire side will go to the motor side you can plug it and the four pin side goes to the cng shield you can plug it either way orientation is not an issue if motor runs reverse you can always uh, reverse this connector this is 1a 1b 2a 2b it is bipolar step up pin connections so we have connected to x-axis and we are not used to any jumper so it will run in full step and now we have to provide the supply power source for the motor and then plug in the usb cable to Arduino. now you have to set the current limit for the a4988 for this you have to use a multimeter in voltage range and uh, there is a small potentiometer seen at the A4988 uh, or top side PCB. You can directly measure the voltage on the preset directly. As per uh, the specification of the NEMA 17 motor we are using, the current limit is 1.5 amps. The rated current is 1.5 amps. So this is the calculation. Current limit equal to V reference into 2.5 for A4988. So V reference will be 1.5 divided by 2.5 which is uh, 0.6 so you have to set the current limit to 0.6 for drv8825 it's slightly higher the calculation is slightly 
slightly changes so you have to set the current limit to 0.6 put the multimeter in voltage range and uh, place one probe that is a black probe to ground you can see at the bottom of the cng shield one row is full ground pins only so you can place it at any of these pins and directly place the red probe on the preset to measure the voltage and you can use a sharp uh, screwdriver or pin to change the uh, preset position now you can set the preset position and uh, uh, approximately around 0 0.6 to 0 0.65 you can set to the left hand side top of the CNG shield you can see enable pin which is mapped to D8 of Arduino and when you place a jumper here it will be pulled low and it will enable all the drivers X, Y, Z and A all drivers will be enabled and below that is the control input step and uh, direction pins step controls micro steps of motor and uh, uh, D2, D3, D4, D12 are mapped to it and direction when it is pulled high it will run clockwise and when it is pulled low it will drive CCW it is mapped to D5, D6, D7 and D13 pins and below that X, Y, Z pins replicate step and direction signals for each axis it's used for monitoring or using external drivers and D12, D13 pins are used for A axis uh, control to the right hand side uh, top you can see RX, TX, SCL, SDA additional breakout pins RX, TX is mapped to Arduino D0 and D1 SCL SDA map to A5 and A4. RX TX pins can be used to interface with the uh, Bluetooth or GSM modules. SCL SDA pins uh, or uh, for I2C communication can be used to connect any OLED or any I2C device. The RST pin becomes low when uh, reset is pressed. You can see the reset button at the left hand side top. When you press this reset button, this RST pin becomes slow. So you can connect external momentary switch also here for external reset and below that you can see two rows of pins one full row is all ground pins and the white color you see the pins are for uh, N switches some pins are for N switches X minus X plus Y minus Y plus Z minus Z plus and these are mapped to 9 10 and 12 that is uh, X minus X plus both uh, that is minimum and maximum are connected to a single pin D9 that is parallel wiring the GRBL uh, gerbil in interprets as X axis reaching the limit and stops the machine that is in uh, CNC machines the end switches used will be like this we will be using NC switches in the CNC machines same way for uh, Y and Z axis below that you can see the spindle uh, enable spindle direction pins and then coolant enable about hold and resume these are all used in the cnc machines at the end you can see e stop that is the emergency stop button all related to cnc machines we have connected a nema 17 stepper motor to x axis of uh, cnc shield let us uh, check the first code here uh, uh, we are defining the step pin as 2 D2, direction pin D5, enable pin D8 so as we are using only X, X axis only these are the standard pins D2, D5, D8 and then we make them as output using pin mode and enable we define, make it low and then direction as high so that the motor will rotate clockwise and inside loop we use the for iteration the step pin is made high and low between a delay now upload the code and uh, check the rotation it rotates clockwise after delay stops and then again rotates next code uh, it is for uh, direction pin that is both directions let us make it uh, cw and ccw the direction pin is made low for uh, uh, direction pin is made low for uh, CCW and made high for CW. CW and CCW. 
and the next code is uh, ramp up and uh, ramp down that is the direction high is made high for clockwise and then the ramp speed uh, function is used inside which another uh, rotate steps function is also used so three steps uh, forward rotation at uh, different uh, circles there is number of uh, rotations different number of rotations and one reverse rotation so three forward rotation one reverse rotation a different number of uh, cycles next code is for uh, step count code both cw and ccw uh, the motor will rotate the motor will rotate slowly initially and then picks up speed accordingly uh, the direction pin is enabled for cw and ccw so this is uh, step count code first rotate slowly and then pick up uh, speed in both directions and finally we'll check the continuous mode of operation here the step delay can be adjusted for speed now we are using step delay as 1500 for nominal speed very high speed we cannot run it will hang so this is for continuous rotation thank you for watching